yeah, the NFV sandbox, that's, that's our playground, I would say, for, for all activities around uh, where we try to get very first-hand experience with the whole uh, technology of NFV. So we're a strong believer in, in NFV and the benefits it brings in future. And instead of waiting until everything is ready and only then start to, to use it and work with it, we said, let's set up a lab and try in very early stages already to, to use that and play around, see where technologies are, what are the problems. So the first project we did in our sandbox was, was VIMS, virtualized IMS. Um, we, we looked what what is the first useful step we can do. It was very clear we do something on control plane, not yet on user plane. Control plane a bit easier to run in a virtualized environment, not the least, because this is running on a similar architecture already today, just on different hardware, not virtualized. In the end, then, we, we, we agreed to do it with, with Huawei. And the big achievement, of course, was that Huawei agreed and worked with us to not provide an IMS system, which is today a very close relationship between software and hardware. But they agreed to, first time ever, only use the software and, and bring it into a complete third-party environment, which is our sandbox, which is hardware from a different supplier, cloud management system from a second supplier, and Huawei as the IMS software provider. We started via IMS with Huawei, very early stages. We did not, at this point in time, focus a lot on IMS functionality. We tried to have these virtualization things like scale-in, scale-out, healing, stuff like that. All very early stages, of course, still worked pretty good. So I'm very impressed by the performance and the openness we've seen in the end. Expectation, of course, um, pretty straightforward. Make it a commercial available as soon as possible. Uh, understand how things fit together, make it as stable as required to be used in, in live networks and move from this lab and still, of course, with closed shop to what we are expecting and seeing from Huawei in commercial networks nowadays, but move everything to virtualized. From virtualized IMS was first, of course, that one of the big telco guys agreed to break up, could give away software only. No, of course, it's on the lab, so it's not commercial yet, but having the principal mindset, we are going to do that, we, we try it. Very first time, never ever, I think, their software ran, ran in another environment, and I think it took us seven, eight weeks to make it work. So, and this is, of course, not a small piece of software. Uh, this is hundreds of thousands or millions of lines of code, something like that. So, tremendous piece of, of software, which was migrated to a completely different environment in a very, very short amount of time. This makes me very positive, of course, uh, how, how much faster we can move forward in future once this virtualized environment is available. So regarding development and implementation, first of all, uh, my key positive surprise is how much the industry has turned in the last year. I think a year from today, in the past, most people didn't even recognize what NFV is. If you talk to the, most of the suppliers, they told you, yeah, yeah, nice thing, but would never work. We don't believe in that. Today, everyone has it on the roadmap. So very big change also for Huawei. So they have changed a lot. And this is, of course, very good. That makes me very positive and, and um, also lets me believe this will happen in real networks much faster than we think. So it will not be four or five years. We, I hope, I hope we talk more about two to three years out to see things coming, maybe even earlier. I always hear rumors that in some other areas, so outside Europe, we will see still some announcements rather soon. Let's see if it really happens, but I really believe we will see first stuff next year and, and for sure in, in bigger areas 2015 onwards, but not four to five years. Ago. Yeah, so we work on that. We work uh, together with Huawei in many areas, but also internally seeing what are the, the, the best opportunities is it IMS, is it EPC, is it somewhere else uh, where we should start because there is a demand and technology is ready. So we are very much looking at it. I know that Huawei has said they have changed their, their thinking a lot. I hope now they execute on that and, and ramp up resources. My vision and my wish would be that in less than a year from today, it's very clear to the whole industry virtualization is the way to go and there is no other way to follow. So wherever you are, it's virtualized and it's more only a question on when exactly do you start, but not at all anymore if it's going to happen or not.